Retro GenU Global Reset Strategy. This will be for left Retro GenU. All right, Jacob, I want you in quadruped position. That's on all fours. I want those feet, curl those toes so the bottom of your toes are on the mat. Knees should be about hip distance apart. Engage in ZR1 so you keep a nice neutral spine. Good job. So the first thing I want you to do is shift your hips slightly back towards your heels. That's right. Keep that engagement of NZR1. You're closing up the space between your calf muscle and your hamstring. From here, you're going to create tension as if your hands and toes are pushing the mat away. Raise those hips up. Keep them back. Don't let them come forwards. Now, you're going to take that left foot Keep it flexed. Try to pin your heel to your butt. And now raise that leg up from the hip, keeping this engaged. Drive it as high as you can towards the ceiling. Bring it back down to the floor. Let's show me that one more time. Hip, heel to butt, foot stays flexed. Drive to the ceiling and bring it back down to the floor. Left retro genu. This is the progressed version of Global Reset Strategy Retro Genu. We're going to be working on Liz's left hamstring. To start off, go ahead and grab yourself a band. For the right foot, go ahead and feed it under the base of the foot and feed the other one so it's wrapped tightly around the ankle. From this, we're going to have Liz establish NZR1, hands on the wall, and we're going to drive this heel towards Liz's butt. Good. Focus on keeping that knee in line with the other. Nice job. That is the progressed version to Retro Genu Global Reset Strategy.